If you think staying slim requires a ban on bread, get ready to give in to your carb cravings. A PNG alum is teaming up with Blue Oven Bakery to create Keto Cube. The almond flour bread contains two carbs per slice. Most store bought breads have 25 grams. William Schumacher, who honed e commerce expertise as a brand manager at PNG, is now CEO of a startup called Uprising Food. He joins business courier publisher Jamie Smith in the studio to talk about his new bread business. William and Jamie. Thanks, Peg. William, thanks for being here today. Absolutely. Thanks, Jamie. So let's start off with uh, keto itself, the term, yes. and the keto diet. Talk a little bit about it. Yeah, so keto is a totally different way of eating than like most people eat. Standard American diet, you kind of like a balanced approach, different things. Keto is about like turning your body into a fat burning machine. So essentially, low carb, moderate protein, high fat, Get your body burning fat. Okay. Very different approach than we normally think about eating. Okay. So is it just the low carb people that you're trying to attract, or is the audience much, audience much bigger than that? Well, we have specifically designed Uprising to help people who are switching to a keto diet. Okay. Absolutely. We want to come alongside them and help make that transition easier by bringing bread back to their life. So you don't have to give up bread. Exactly, <laughs> the one thing you miss, right? Exactly. However, at the same time, we are about a much bigger mission. So we wanna come against the way high carb, highly processed, big food companies are making food. Yeah. We wanna create a movement around making food differently. Okay. Fresh, rip out all the garbage, rip out the preservatives, all those things that you don't necessarily need we want to make food a fundamentally different way. Okay, well, that sounds great. Now, how does one move from being a brand manager at Procter & Gamble to making bread? <laughs> like, how did you enter yeah. this journey? Yeah, uh, a relentless pursuit of conviction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, you know, from the time I was little, I thought I was gonna be an entrepreneur. I wanted to make a huge impact on the world, and when I went to P&G, I went to learn. I went to learn how to help people, help the masses. And then I said, I will know when my moment comes, and that moment came. Yeah. I said, people out there are trying to create these health transformations. I understand what that is like. I understand the power of what a keto diet, low carb diet, all these things can do. But man, it's hard without bread. <laughs> and I want to come help those people. Yeah. And so I said, hey, now's my time, now's my moment. I'm gonna step out, take a leap of faith, leave P&G to go and run after this. Yeah, well, that's cool. Now, uh, you approached Mark Frohmeyer, co-owner of Blue Oven Bakery, I'm assuming for his expertise. Um, how did you guys work together and, and kind of talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so uh, that, was, that was truly like, Mark and I are like yin and yang. <laughs> we are like Obi-Wan and Luke. Yeah. You know, I am the guy that cannot sleep until everyone has access to keto-friendly bread, right? Mark is the master at how to make that product okay. taste absolutely unbelievable. So he's and the baker. He's the baker, right? You didn't want the hat and, and exactly. baking all the time, right? I baked 200 loaves <laughs> in the early days. But I went to Mark and said, look, Mark, we, got, we need something that's mouth-watering. We need to serve these people. And anyone who knows Blue Oven knows what Mark creates. Yeah. And he was the guy to take on that challenge. And I was like, Mark, here's the things that, we, that the keto folks need. And man, he made an absolute, unbelievably mouth-watering yeah. loaf. That's awesome. So where do we go from here? What, what's the future hold? <laughs> Jamie, we are taking <laughs> keto bread to the people. <laughs> so we want to take keto bread to the masses. We want to make this a nationwide movement. And so we, we're selling online. We're uprisingfood.com. Okay. We need to get the word out there. We need to rally people behind us. We are taking it to the masses. Um, at, at the end of the day, we also are in that startup phase. And so we are looking for help getting going. We're, we are trying to win this FedEx Small Business Grant Contest. Okay. Uh, there's $50,000 on the line, and it's a voting thing. So votes are, are pouring in right now. So how can our viewers go and vote for you? Uprisingfood.com. Okay. Super simple. Right. You can click on Support the Troops or Homepage, Video, click right yeah. over, cast a vote. So obviously, uh, capital and, and money is a challenge. Are there any other big challenges that you faced as you, as you started the journey? You know, it's, it's one challenge after another, one <laughs> micro challenge after another, you know, when you're starting a business. Yeah. Um, but honestly, the world needs this. Yeah. Like, the people are really 
hurting without this. Yeah. It's super hard to get, get that. Right. And so what I've found so far is people are really receptive to what we're doing. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, I hope our viewers go there. I'll go there. I'll vote. I'm going to buy awesome. some. <laughs> and, it. and uh, you know, journey to health. That's what it's all about. Yes. All right. Good luck to you. Thank Thanks you, Thanks for being here today. All right. Okay.